Good friend, what bothers me is this. You see, in the, in the uh, Korean War, these people are trying to say, now you said so-and-so in the Korean War. I said, my friend, no two military situations are the same, and no two political situations. Here is a war that is the most nasty and, uh, and uh, unpredictable thing we've ever been in. And there's just as much political as military. Therefore, when I said in uh, Korea, I didn't say I used atomic bombs. I said that I would no more be inhibited or limited by the gentlemen's agreements that have been pre uh, prevailing up to the time I got there. That if we had to bomb the Yalu bridges or going over to the uh, bases in uh, China where this stuff was coming from, I'd do it. And I'd use whatever weapons were necessary to win. Now, I sent that through three different uh, avenues. And we got to, I said, unless this was going to be done, unless the arms is signed. Well, now, the conditions, at that time, we had a practical monopoly of all bombs. And there was no, the conditions are not the same. But the war is different, and now they're trying to say, the way you want me to say, wouldn't I raise atomic bombs? I no. said, nobody could make such a decision except the President of the United States, and I'm not even going to attempt it. That's right. But exactly. I just want to point out that I never vary from my stand that this is your responsibility. If I have any ideas as to what we should do or could do, I communicate them to you through the channel. And whatever I have to say about that may sound critical, it's merely that I want well, to win the well, damn war before I could go to the moon or anything else. General, you never, you, you, you just, you said what I think. <laughs> uh, you told me this, you may have forgotten it, but the first visit you made to my office when I talked to you then, I'm over in the old executive office building, you told me that you sent word to, through uh, Dulles to Nehru that you were not going to be uh, bound by <clears throat> any sanctuaries or any weapons that you were going to do what is best for your country and you want to bring it to an end. And you didn't get specific or anything. You just said, let that word get around. And Bob Anderson told me that he heard the same thing, and I think it was a proper thing. And they're trying to get you to say that you won't drop an atomic bomb on somebody. And we know that you you don't do anything uh, uh, that's not well thought out. They wanted me to say that I want to tell you publicly how to run this war, and I just think I don't want to do it. <laughs> well, I, I sure, if you, I, I, I need all the help I can get, so you... <laughs> I say, I, they, the President knows I'm always available. I know that. And I'm just not going to uh, be in a position of dividing the United States at a time when it needs unity. I know that you that you you've always shown that, and I told uh, Everett Dirksen this morning. He said he made a little statement this morning. Said we got one blood out there and one flag and one uniform. And I said, well, I've been paid a thousand percent. I said, Everett, do you remember when I used to have to stand up when Bill Nolan go in the back row and attack the president? I'd stand up and do it. He said, you sure did. I said, well, I've been paid a hundred percent dividends for three years now. <laughs>